All right, hey, Ninetales is going to try to commentate on this again. We are in uh, losers round four, I believe. I I'm actually not totally sure. I think this is quarterfinals for losers. I'm, 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 I don't I don't I don't know. I haven't been looking at the bracket much. Other people have been helping me out with that. So um, we are looking at a Sheik versus Captain Falcon game on Startersville. Great place to start any set. Startersville. The starting destination for your adventures and smashings. Oh wow, okay. Good recovery by G-Man. That was pretty close to the brink of Captain Falcon's recovery range. And fair strings again. Smashville is actually one of Sheik's... Oh my goodness! He teched it! Wow, that was that was like the that was G Man's just on on top of his recover game right now. That was really nice. Can I just say that was really nice? Like there, was, it looked like there was no way he could win that, and he was like, "Nah, I'm gonna jump into the vanish, tech it, and still be good to go." Tries for the up tilt, did not quite work out. Oh, whoa! Don't know what that was trade was, but oh, and the vanish is gonna take that stock. I don't know why people go out against Sheik when she just vanishes and blows you up anyways. Grossest thing. Oh man, these strings, dude. These strings. Back air does finish it. That's G-Man. That's what Captain Falcon does. He's like, I understand the end of the stage. Kick it back, that's it. Oh. Oh. Oh, nope, nope, nope. The first one was a nope, though. Oh. Wow. A lot of landing lag on G-Man, whatever he was doing there. Did not get anything out. There was like a huge moment. It's like, it's like a whole like 20 frames or something where it's just like something's gonna come out. They're like right in each other's faces, but no one can shield. Oh, wow, dang. Sheik's aerials are just so dumb. Can I just say that? Sheik's frame data is so dumb. Now these Nair approaches have been working out for G-Man so far today. I've seen him do a lot of them. They've got a good property for beating out a lot of the quick sort of mindless moves people throw out in neutral. Oh, very good spot dodge, but of course it's Sheik, so we get frame trapped by that. Literally, like, you know, I'm gonna throw out a bouncing fish. Okay, alright, I'm salty. I'm salty about Sheik. Good game. Good game, Tommy. <laughs> uh, so, let's see what happens game two. I like this, uh, I mean, I guess whoever's watching this later won't be able to see it, but I like this kind of nice, uh, Super Mario 64 desktop background that's up right now. It's like... It's like the original game, it's got the same graphics, and it's just like Mario walking through an open field towards me, just, you know what, this isn't the original game. This is not the setting of, this is not the setting of the actual outside the castle hub world, because it looks like the field looks different. This is like someone's photoshopped version of it. But they got all the assets, they've got like the castle looks right, Mario looks right, the trees look right. It's pretty nice though, it looks nice. It just sort of looks, you know, looks, it looks homey. Looks like Mario's coming home. Peach's Castle. Oh, okay, wow, and the set's starting. G-Man with the Diddy switch going to his original main from early Smash 4, Diddy Kong. Character he pulls out a little less frequently after the patch, but uh, lately he's been pulling him out more and more. Let's see. Diddy's actually a pretty good matchup on Sheik. Or so I've heard. I've also heard Mario is, though. So, interesting interesting tidbits of info that I hear when I spend way too much time reading and listening to Smash stuff. That was sick. That, can I just say that was sick? He, like, hit him off that right platform onto the left platform. Jimin missed the tech, and he was right there with, like, yeah, up smash, up smash. It was good looking. That was a pretty beautiful move by Sheik. Sometimes you forget it because of how much you hate fighting Sheiks. But, like, Sheik's actually a pretty, pretty girl. And uh, that was beautiful stuff by Pretty Girl. Whoa, nice forward smash on G-Man's part. But even nicer DI by Tommy's part, living it. Tommy takes the banana peel. And it's been neutralized by being thrown again. In this game, banana... Wow. These battlefield... These, these battlefield up smashes with their sweet spots on the platforms are working for Tommy. It worked out for him game three against Churro, too, so... Oop, good up smash by G-Man. Diddy, Diddy has to work harder for his kills than he ever had to before. Tries for the ledge trump. Did not get it, but that fair worked out. 
And... Ooh, wow, he had the peanut in hand and he Z-dropped it. I like it. I like it. Good stuff. G-Man, well, he's still struggling to get this kill. He's not... Oh, wow. Wow, I was about to say, he's not letting himself, you know, fall too far behind. And then he gets, like, crazy gimps. That was sort of a weird mistake, too. He sort of, like, ran off the edge, like, needlessly. 